Cheryl Creasy? Yeah, I prefer Stone. So, like a nickname? That's, uh... That's what my people call me. Can we talk straight? You gonna help me out or what? Just talk, that's all. And then maybe we both get what we want, okay? I'm with John Curran from Stone. John, all the characters in this film are really complex. If you look at Lucetta, played by uh, Mila Jovovich, mm -hmm. uh, at first you see her, you think she's a bit of a ditz, and then the layers start to come off, and then you realize she's got her own agenda, and they're actually all like this. Is that one of the reasons why you wanted to direct this film, because they're all so interesting? Yeah, you know, I think that um, I'm always drawn to character dramas, and I think that they only really work if, you know, for me, if, if you're going to unpeel somebody. And I think that, you know, to your point, the layers were, were really important, that I found that all of them went in a really surprising direction that I didn't see at the beginning of the script. What did it mean to you to get your two leading men? Uh, well, I, it took me a year to, to really get De Niro. We talked a lot about it, so, you know, it wasn't like it, it was an overnight thing. Um, what was the hesitation? I think just he's a busy guy, yeah. and, you know, getting the finance together, getting the right co-star, getting the right cast, you know, I think the elements had to be right for him to finally commit, you know? And um, um, I think that it just all came together at, at one point. And, you know, for me, the, the obsession was I wanted to make this film, but I wanted to make it with Bob. You're here to see your husband? I don't want you to get your hopes up. I just want him home. Jeff, home is home. It? I was just wondering when we could get together. Look, I admire that you love your husband and you want to do what's right for him. I do love my husband. And all I'm asking you is for a chance to help you see him in a different light. Can I persuade you? Francis, it's nice to meet with you. Thank you. Now you play Madeline Mabry, and at the very beginning of the film, the young Madeline says, you kicked my soul to the dungeon, and then your character spends the rest of the movie feeling trapped. Now, was it the fact that it was this intense drama that attracted you to this role? Oh my goodness, I, I, I was asked to do the role, and I was thrilled, because I read the screenplay and thought that it was very compelling, and the fact that the other three actors involved were such wonderful actors, I, I thought I would love to be a part of it. Bless the Lord. <coughs> you lose your place? It just becomes so inevitable what happens with all of them, and so terribly dark and sad in some ways. And is, is there redemption in any of it? I don't know. Well, there is a little bit of hope in Stone's character, though, because he starts as a, a derelict in prison, and then he has hope he's, he's getting on parole, he's looking at the bigger picture of life. But the That's way hopeful. he goes about it is so devious and, I don't know. Chilling. Chilling. Why do you get to walk around free and I don't? I wasn't convicted of a crime. You never did anything bad. Nobody can know about this. 